What is up my crazy subscribers, this is Joe King John City 4 and today people, I want to talk about the recent update about Modern Warfare 2 Remaster. If you guys haven't heard the news yet, this is just so hilarious, it's just plain hilarious, like I don't know why they even do this, it's like Activision's trying to outdo itself like by uh, how much they can screw up a game. So if you guys have not heard the recent news, Modern Warfare 2 Remaster will not have an online multiplayer. It is true, it has been confirmed by Charlie Intel. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remaster will not have a multiplayer online, nothing, no kill streaks, no nothing. So it's only gonna be campaign on the release day. And I'm thinking like I think there is a big reason why they didn't want to release the full game yet, because according to several sources out there, is the the remaster will be releasing during Black Ops 4 and uh, if they were to release the multiplayer they might steal the thunder of Black Ops 4 so my theory behind this whole idea might be that uh, maybe Activision is deciding that hey we don't wanna you know ruin Black Ops 4 because I think you know it's pretty much of a great uh, franchise over there because you know Black Ops has not failed us at all I even had a lot of fun in Black Ops 3 despite being futuristic it's still a hell of a game but like um, you know, I don't think Black Ops has failed us yet. So that's why there was no need for Activision to be releasing the multiplayer. But at the same time, I'm thinking they might steal money from us because they might sell the campaign for $29.99 and then wait a whole year and then sell you the multiplayer from Modern Warfare 3 Master as a DLC for $29.99. Pretty much totaling up like to like 50 bucks right there. It's like buying a complete new game. So uh, they might steal money at the same time as the same time as holding off for uh, you know Black Ops 4. So this whole thing is just you know for Activision to make more money along the way. Uh, it's kind of scummy. It's kind of uh, really um, you know questionable and all. But that's how it is, man. I think that's what's the plan here. I kind of you know thought about this theory the whole day yesterday, and I was thinking like, yeah, they're about to do this kind of thing, and I even wrote it down on paper. So. Um, what do you guys think about this whole situation? I'm pretty sure it's shocking. I know I've seen a lot of memes out there by uh, Charlie Intel. Even they are surprised about this whole situation and they're the ones who like, you know, I think they have someone working behind the scenes so that's why they get a lot of information out of the game. And uh, you know, for them to be announcing that and also for, uh, who was it, Jev? Jeff is one of those Call of Duty players that go to esports and all that stuff. Uh, that guy also tweeted out that it's quite upsetting that they're only going to be releasing the campaign. So it's been confirmed by several people out there. They're shocked. They're really surprised about this whole news thing about Modern Warfare 2. Um, to be honest, I'm still worried about how they're going to balance the whole issues of Modern Warfare 2. From what I'm hearing from a lot of old school players is that there was a problem with the one-man army, a lot of problem with new tubing, a lot of problem with, you know, with a lot of things in the game. There was a lot of problems. It wasn't very well balanced. But at the end of the day, it was super fun. That's a, that's what counted, right? So uh, my wild guess is that they're taking a while to like really fix the game and really balance it out. So they might even hold out another year. But I'm pretty sure they already finished with the campaign. And also, they might be pulling off another Call of Duty 4 remaster. If you guys do not remember, they released the campaign first and then the multiplayer second, like maybe a month later. So it's like the same thing that uh, Grand Theft Auto did. Uh, Grand Theft Auto also released the regular story mode game for Grand Theft Auto 5, and then they released the multiplayer a month later or two. Actually, it released like two months later, even though they released it one month later, because uh, after that first release, I'm telling you, it wasn't even working, it was deleting everybody's character. It was super bad. Even I, I even made a video about it, and it got like over 20,000 views, and it's one of my top viewed videos here in my channel. So um, it was a big complaint. So I, I, know, I know that experience about, you know, you know, games releasing the campaign first and then the multiplayer second, and it's still being broken. So, um,. So to be honest, they might release the multiplayer a year later after the campaign. I think that's the plan. I think that's really the plan they're going off here. And uh, if you guys want to hear other theories, you know, make sure you subscribe for more because it's going to be more theories about this whole situation. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is a hell of a game. It's the game that everybody loved back in the day. And I'm pretty sure some of you, you uh, new people out here in the Call of Duty franchise don't even know what the hell Modern Warfare 2 is. It's better for you to wait for the remaster than to play the ones in the last gen PS3 and Xbox 360 because they're fully hacked. <laughs> You're not going to get the best experience out of that. So, when it was before it was hacked, before every single Call of Duty was hacked, it was literally the best thing ever, you know. It was like the think about it as PUBG versus Fortnite. 
that's how it was back then with Halo versus Call of Duty and uh, you know it was just total warfare out there in the comment sections and that's why it was praised so much you know Modern Warfare 2 was a hell of a game because everybody defended it and all that stuff and everybody believed that the franchise was going to the right direction too so um, tell me what you think about the situation guys is my plan actually the way they're going with you know releasing the campaign first and then a year later the multiplayer or is there something else other theories that you guys think about you know let me know in the comments section. so that is it make sure to subscribe for more if you guys want to see more thoughts about future games